Hi guys, so I'm really excited to announce that we have now a new dashboard in beta that's live on the platform and I'm excited for you guys to try it. So I wanted to do a quick Loom video just to show you on a high level, along with the email that I already sent, uh, how this dashboard now works. We really tried to take all the feedback that you guys have been so generous to give us and really simplify the user experience in more ways than one. So we noticed that a lot of people wanted to just create either platform specific content campaigns or multi-channel content campaigns, basically 30 days worth of content in one sitting. And so we made it so simple to support that. So when you now land on your dashboard, um, if you don't have a brand set up already as a new user, then you are prompted to add your brand here, or you can go to the brand as usual. So you don't have to now give your URL first before you get to your content planning and strategy. We thought that was a lot of friction. So we created this dashboard where you can just come right in and start planning and creating. So you have your prompt box here, just like any other AI tool or chatbot, where you can give it any kind of objective or thoughts or themes or anything that you have in mind. For example, let's um, try this together. So instead of me typing, I'm just going to put this in so that we can save some time. So for example, help me generate a high impact campaign that highlights the importance of time management in order to establish a more balanced life. So I'm, you know, just kind of speedballing here. Uh, my goal is to educate my audience on time blocking, best practices and self care and position myself as a credible authority and the productivity space. So again, you can be as specific as you like or as general as you like, but this is kind of where you dump your brain, dump all of your ideas and thoughts, and then you turn that into a strategy using AI. So now I have created my prompt, I can pick the channels that I would like to um, create content for. So I can, again, just create 30 days worth of Instagram content. So that'll be carousels, reels, and posts. Uh, and it'll just create content just for Instagram. Or if I want to create a coordinated multi-channel campaign across different platforms, then I can pick more than one. So in this case, let's say I'm going to pick YouTube, sorry, Instagram, LinkedIn, or yeah, TikTok, LinkedIn, Instagram. And then if I have a brand, so in this case, I don't have a brand here saved for this specific prompt because uh, I'm just making it up. But if you have a brand already, you can pick it from here. You can also pick a campaign goal. Let's say for here, it's more around brand awareness or actually engagement. And then you hit generate. And so, by the way, this is where all of your other kind of live campaigns that you created before or create moving forward appear for easier access. So now that I've Pick my channel, give it my prompt and my campaign goal or brand, then I can generate the full content plan. And at this stage, it creates a full content strategy of 30 days uh, worth of content across different platforms that I have picked. And as you will see, we really uh, studied what proven frameworks and storytelling hooks work best with engagement and virality. And then we kind of infuse that into our fine tuned models now. So as you could see, a lot of this content is really fine tuned and trained on the best performing content for each platform. So all the pieces, all the ideas that you are generating on your content strategy are optimized for each specific platform and also optimized for each specific content type within that platform. So in the case of Instagram, you have Instagram post, Instagram reel, Instagram carousel. So in this case, you know, these are obviously different types of content within the same channel. TikTok videos are just all TikTok videos, kind of very focused on storytelling, et cetera, et cetera. And then you have your LinkedIn post and LinkedIn articles. So some people create articles within LinkedIn or newsletters and others create just posts. So keep that in mind that it's not just posts. There are also LinkedIn articles that are generated as part of your campaign. So let's, for example, look at a specific, um, let's look at the Instagram reel as an example. So it creates it in a talking head format. It gives you also even the timestamps and the hook uh, and then the different parts of the script. So 
In this case, I've been testing this out myself as well. And there are a lot of real scripts that I absolutely didn't even have to do that much editing. It just felt so on brand and it felt really interesting as a story framework. Of course, I fine tuned it a little bit to be more specific to my story and my experience, but overall the framework, the structure, and even the art of storytelling was really on point and better than anything I could have prompted myself on even ChatGPT or Claude. So now you can go back to your campaign and just kind of go through again, all of, all of your content and see how it feels for you. Now, this is very new. We just released this today. Um, in a way, it's still in beta, so there might be some glitches, there might be some bugs, so we really would love for everybody now to try it out. We had some alpha testers already. Some of our users already tested it out and really loved it, and this is why we decided to launch it before even April, so that we can give this access to all the other users we have to play around with it and see what kind of feedback we can get so that we can further iterate on this new user experience that we've created through the dashboard. So as you can see now, all of your campaigns that are created from the dashboard will live on your campaigns, right? You can also click on each one and edit the campaign through here. So you can edit the prompt if you'd like, and you can fill out the rest and you can regenerate the entire content campaign if you don't like what you're seeing. But from what we've seen, a lot of people love the initial plan and strategy that they generate, but that's also an option for you to be able to. You can also add one post or expand on your content, which is what we're releasing later today as well. And moving forward, your plan is basically your comprehensive plan that has all of your campaigns combined in one um, you know, overview, comprehensive view or general view, but you can also filter by the different campaigns you have created. So think of your plan as an overview of what you have going on, the kind of content you're working on across all the campaigns. So you're able to really track it and see it in real time, even probably best using Kanban view so you could see what's in progress, what's in review. Um, so these are the major differences now on the platform. Just so you know, we are upgrading and updating the product as we go, especially in April. We will have a lot more new, exciting updates coming out, but this is just to cover the dashboard. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me right back from the email that I just sent. And I hope you really like this new feature and enjoy creating 30 days worth of content, setting it and forgetting it. So you never have to worry about creating content on the go on demand every single day, day in and day out. Thanks again for tuning in. And I'm really looking forward to all your feedback.